Hey Battlefielders, what's going on? My name is Addison396, thank you very much for watching today, really do appreciate your time. If you're wondering why I, uh, why I sound a bit funny, I'm a bit ill with a cold at the moment, so yeah, that's, uh, that's not too good. But basically today I'm joined by a very special guest, Geigers. Hello Geigers. Hey guys, how's it going? Not too bad, well, like I said, ill with a cold, but I hope you guys are actually better than myself. There's actually been loads of colds going around in England, so... Like, everybody at work was sick and shit like that. But anyway, yeah, getting off topic. So yeah, Geigers, you're basically here to ask questions from the audience's point of view. Um, like, questions yeah. that I thought, like, you guys would probably want to hear and stuff like that. So, what are we going to discuss today? We're going to discuss the Battlefield 32 on 32 event that's uh, going on in London. And uh -huh. it's the Battlefield 4 showdown that I'm sure everybody's seen many crazy videos about. Uh-huh. And um, basically the question for this video, what I want you guys to answer in the comments below or tweet me Addison, at Addison396. Um, basically what type of videos do you want to see from that event? Because I am going to be participating there. Do you want to see like vlogs? They're probably what I'm definitely going to be able to do. Um, but if possible, if I can record gameplay, would you like to see gameplay videos, commentaries, montages, that sort of thing? So let me know in the comments below or like I said tweet me at Addison396. And um, yeah, me and Geigers will have a look through the comments and uh, pick out like our favourite ones and then probably show them in the next video, if that's alright Geigers. It sounds good to me. Cool. Um, I'm really looking forward to some gameplay from that. Yeah, so uh, yeah, I'm going to take my laptop down on that, so hopefully they'll let me record, but we'll get into, um, into that in a bit. Um, yep. So yeah, basically what is the, the Battlefield 4 showdown? Do you want to explain a little bit what it is? Well, it's a uh, it's an event being thrown by uh, Microsoft and EA, and they've invited a bunch of YouTubers and just well known, you know, gamers uh -huh. play, or Battlefield gamers to play this thirty two on thirty two match on the Xbox One. Yeah, which is and they're going to uh, there's two teams, a lot of a lot of promotions, a lot of promotions. They're going to put it on Xbox Live. Yeah, yeah, on the uh, dashboard actually playing live. Uh, yep. There's two teams. There's Europe and USA. Um, there's a continent taking on a country, so yeah. Well, yep. I, well, well, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get into that. We're not gonna get into that flame war. Uh, I'll read out what they, what they put if that's all right about the Battlefield Showdown. Um, you can use hashtag BF4 Showdown on Twitter, and that will bring up loads of stuff about it as well. Um, but yeah, they put Battlefield has always been brought. Uh, sorry, Battlefield has always brought out the competitive sides of players. So it's no surprise that on November the first, Europe and the USA are going head to head in Battlefield 4 to finally find out who's best. Tune into the live stream, like you said, Geigers on Xbox Live on November the first, and it's at 11 a.m. PDT. So like, what time is that for you, Geigers? Uh, two Eastern. Two Eastern in Canada, and for me, like that's well, I don't know. I ain't got That'd be seven o'clock your time. Okay, so I'm gonna be playing about seven o'clock. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Um. Yeah. So to to basically tune in then to find out who will win the Battlefield Four Showdown live, uh, Europe versus USA matchup, Xbox Lives, Major Melson and AC Bongos will each command their own team of 32 players on Xbox One, and you'll get you'll right. This is this bit is important as well. Listen to the wording of this guy because you'll get the first look at the Battlefield Four Second Assault Assault. Uh, expansion pack which debuts at the showdown and brings four reimagined Battlefield 3 maps to Battlefield 4. Yep. Um, I'll go back to that in a second but uh, the next bit says the teams will consist of players from the USA and selected European countries including France, Germany, Italy, Spain, Sweden and the UK like myself and the players have been all handpicked uh, by EA in collaboration with DICE and their skill level will vary as they are all on different premises uh, bringing something unique to the table. Uh, with the Battlefield 4 showdown uh, live Europe vs USA, we want to give our fans a high quality entertainment event accessible to anybody tuning in. Um, so yeah, the wording of that, that thing I just wanted to pick up on Geigers is you'll get a first look at the Battlefield 4 Second Assault expansion pack, which right. debuts at the showdown. So does that mean we'll get to play it, or does that mean there'll be a trailer of it? I for, uh, well, at first I thought that was what the maps that's the maps that you guys are going to be playing on, yeah. but then I'm like, nah, probably not. But I think they're going to put out a bunch of videos and stuff showing the second assault. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, I don't think you'll be playing on them, but yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing them, man, though. Like, yeah, reimagined uh, Metro. Yeah. I, I can't wait to see that. I want to, I hope they just destroy that whole subway system. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um... I said in a previous video, I'd love it if Metro had, like, if they opened the top out, if they had, like, a train crash through the middle as the dynamic 
uh, element. Yeah, you know, say. or flankings into Bravo yeah. or something. You yeah, know, it's yeah, got to yeah, be yeah. something different. It can't be the same thing. More destruction, obviously, that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, also, like Caspian border. Let's see how the tower how the tower falls. Like, is that a, a scripted thing still, or can you do that yourself? No, it so? is. Well, it, it is okay. on the PC, but okay. thirty. Like when you get onto the bigger maps, like you can play Conquest Large, right? Then you have like a, there is a flag position over by that big tower uh -huh. on large. Yeah, 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 yeah. Same with uh, like Firestorm is one of them. Yeah. And there's going to be two more like on large. It's a, it's just a way better yeah. play, you know, gameplay wise. It's way yeah. better. We're basically going to get like the the upgrade for consoles, basically, aren't we? So that's pretty cool. Yeah, I like that. Um, so yeah, basically, like without sounding egotistical, I want to just let you guys know who I am and uh, why I sort of been picked. Uh, and I know there's probably people with like better like credentials than me. Um, but basically, I think I've just got myself like around the community a bit. Um, obviously, I've done like over 300 like videos on Battlefield. Um, and if you look at my stats, I've got a 1.4 KD on Battlefield 3, uh, 687 score per minute. Um, I've got quite a low win loss actually, like 1.4. So that's quite low. My most used weapon is like the M416, the L96, the P90. Um, yeah, what else? Like I've um, so yeah, basically I think I'll be in the in the showdown. I think I'll be in the jets because they sent me an email and they were asking like, what do you think your specialities are? And I said jets. And if you look at my my jet stats online, I've got like 53 hours in the um, is it the FA18E Super Hornet, and in yeah. the um, SU35BM Flankery, I've had 61 hours in that. So. I've had like That's a lot of hours just in jets right there. Yeah, I've had like quite a lot of um, jet time, uh, sadly. So <laughs> yeah, I used to play like flight sims as a kid, so <laughs> that's yeah, where yeah. that's come from. Um, but yeah, so that's a little bit about myself. Um, I'm just gutted that like you don't live in like the USA or like the Europe because you would have got picked easily, guy. Because it's oh, we can only hope. <laughs> oh, no, definitely. Like they would have been stupid not to like like people people can like spread your name and stuff like that but it just sucks like that you could there was a competition as well i think you could enter and uh, just send them in a video but obviously you had to be from the countries that you know were allowed to go so right it sort of sucks but so there's probably a few guys that nobody's heard of at all and yeah. they got picked to go and that's cool yeah you know, i like, like that It'd be, it'd be a dream thing, you know, to say, hey, yeah. guess what? We're going to fly you out to London to play a video game. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, okay. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. yeah, like if I... Would... something to tell your family, anyway. So, uh, what what are you expecting out of this? Um, so, basically, I was I was going to say, like, it's it's sort of nothing like I've ever attended before. Um, I've been to, like, loads of different media events and stuff like that, but I've never been to, like, a, a gaming events, like, in particular. And um, I'll put like some pictures on screen of the location. It, it looks amazing. Like I've shown you the location of Matt Geiger's. Yeah. What do you think to it? Like it just looked like if you imagine. Well, it, it looks it looks fancy from the outside, but I'm yeah. guessing you guys are all going to be shoved into a room with a bunch <laughs> of Xboxes, and you won't care what it looks like. So. <laughs> well, uh, I'm I'm hoping it's like all that glass there. I'm hoping it's, they're going to like clear <laughs> out the middle of that, and then it's going to be in there, and that'd be like epic, just like a big command center of, of battlefield. Uh, they're going to shove you all into a basement in oh, a dark God. room. <laughs> well, okay, okay, hopefully not. Um, but yeah, it's going to be like um, a four-day event. Uh, I'll basically get to meet other YouTubers and hopefully like dive uh, dive staff members, um, guys from EA like Dan Dan Sheridan. Um, right. And yeah, it's gonna be like a great time. I'm really looking forward to it. And I, like I said, I do like realize how lucky I am as well. Like, if I wasn't going, and I can just imagine like seeing it, I'd be like, oh, I wish I was going so much. So, right. Yeah, I really do appreciate that. I was picked out of like so many people as well. Yep. And uh, well, I'm happy. I'm happy for you. I'm like, I know a couple you. guys that are going, like you and Fets, and uh, you know, I'm super excited for you guys, and I'll be rooting Thank for you. you both. So. Cheers, man. Well, we're on different teams, aren't we? So, how's that going? Oh, yeah. yeah. How's that going to happen, eh? Who are you, who are you voting uh, Who are you rooting for, I, I, huh? I Like huh? I said, I'm not going to huh? go for any what? country at all. What do you mean? Done. No. Well, don't go for a country. Go for a continent. I'm not going for a continent either. Oh, I'm just... God. I'm going for... I'm rooting for the people I know, and that's all. Oh. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, okay. So, what happens when it's like me and Fetz in a firefight? 
I'll just laugh at both of you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So, yeah, sorry. so, like, have you been told to, uh, how to prepare for it? Like, you've been told to bring anything or something? Um, no, we've basically just been given, like, um, like a release form that we had to sign and send off. We were given, like, dates, um, information about, like, the food and the catering and the, the venue, obviously, and the, the hotel. The hotel looks quite nice. Yeah, we had to obviously sign a release form saying that we could have our, like, pictures taken and our Xbox, like, gamer tags used and stuff like that. Um, right. So, yeah, I had a problem. With, my scanner broke, and then I went to uni, and the only, like, scanner at the uni broke. Well, it was a, it was a way for repairs. It's like, how bad can my look get? So I was like, I tweeted down the show, and then it was like, yeah, you can just um, bring in me if you want. So I was like, oh, thank God for that. I was like, trying to, like take a picture of my signature on like a piece of paper on my iPhone and then like put that <laughs> onto the Word document and it's just not happening so <laughs> yeah yeah all right so um what's what what like you obviously you got a schedule so what's on that schedule um yeah so basically on the the 30th of, of October is when we're set to arrive um during the afternoon or evening and um I'm guessing we'll be like just like an intro day, introduction and um, taking like to the hotels that sort of thing and then the next day it's like rehearsals at the venue all day um the first of november is the day after and that's rehearsals during the day and then the event is uh well it says 6 p.m cet here so yeah so is that central eastern or something like that i don't know european time Oh, uh, central. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. There we go. And then second of November, um, whoever's flying home flies home and uh, train home, basically. Yeah. Yeah, like it says six p.m. your time there, uh-huh. but it, they did say it started at two Eastern, which would be seven here because it's a five-hour difference. Okay. So I'm guessing you guys are going to start. You know, your the preliminaries, or I don't know what you you probably start a warm up or something at that time. But yeah, yeah. But it, I, I find it really cool. It's going to be on Xbox Live, so I'll be looking for you guys. So I know, I, I know, like, like, so do you know who's going? Do you know? <laughs> do you know anyone that's going? <laughs> um, yeah. So they published the list, didn't they? And it was like, it was nice to see like my name up there. I was like, yeah, they're not like bullshitting me, or they've not like picked the wrong account to yeah. like tweet to. <laughs> I'm actually going. Um, yeah. But yeah, I know. Well, I'm looking through the list. Like, there's people. Like you were pointing out that people were like using names because they're mainly a PC player and they've had to like make up a name for this. But obviously, yep. I've heard of like uh, Fets Mantis. Um, looking down the list, they like Fate Thriller in the works. Um, the level guys, um, uh, Tim, Battlefield Podcast. Um, I've seen I've seen the Shibby two one four two before somewhere, and I've she I obviously know Dascro from well, he's a, like old Battlefield podcast and like competitive gaming. Um, the UK guys, I know Paragon N seven. He's he's um, the co-host. Well, he's the like the presenter on Battlefield Bootcamp. Right. Um, so we Grizz, Grizzle's going too. Yeah, I know him. No, and it was funny, like uh, uh, the Russian Badger was saying he was. <laughs> On one of his videos, he was saying he wanted to make a name up and make fun of it, but yeah. I know that, like, it say it says Raffle, you're not Badger, but I'm sure that's him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's definitely him. Yeah. Um, and obviously, like, on the, we've got, like, Alan Kurtz um, from Die Stockholm on our team, and uh, yep. the other guy is, who is it that they, ha- they have? They have uh, Frederick, Frederick Loving. Loving. Yeah. Um, I don't know who that is. <laughs> well, he's from Dice LA. Uh, yeah. Nice USA. So that's pretty cool. I like that. And then there's like <laughs> reserves. Um, it's weird. Like Chadboy is in reserves. So yeah, Chadboy and Aaron Law. Like, yeah. Like if you don't watch their videos, you've got to start because they're <laughs> hilarious. But but yeah, they're on reserve. I don't know what's going on there. Maybe they'll get thrown in or something. But yeah. we'll see. Yep. So uh, like you said, you're you're a pretty good jet pilot. I've seen you in action. Like, you do, you do okay. <laughs> so, uh, what kits are you planning to use? Um, well, yeah, they basically um, sent me a, a, an email asking for like, um, what gun do you like to use? Uh, what like class would you use? What like any specialities? So, 
Um, basically, like assault, I, I plan on using. Like, obviously, being flexible. Like if if I if somebody needs to like laser heli, I'll switch to the sniper to get the you know target designator. But obviously, I'll be flexible. But mainly, I'll use assault for infantry games like domination. If we get put on that, um, assault and engineer for games like obliteration and rush, where you get like a bit of armor and obviously conquest. Um, but for my speciality, I put like jets. Um, obviously, with the time I've had in them, and then any vehicle. So like helis and tanks and stuff like that. Right. Um, but yeah, like with the jets, what I'm kind of anxious about is to like actually get a bit of practice with them because we've not seen them in the beta yet. And the maneuverability and the control, well, the controls you can swap back to normal, but the maneuverability and the sort of feel of the helis changed in the tanks. So uh, obviously the jets have, and the timing on them with the like the ECM jammer and stuff like that is different. So um, with the flares, sorry, and that. So. Yeah, it's it's gonna be interesting to see what it's like for the for the Jets. Okay, so <clears throat> out of this uh, out of the second assault map pack that's coming to uh, Xbox One first, I guess. Uh -huh. um, you have uh, Operation Metro, Gulf of Oman, Operation Firestorm, and Caspian Border. Uh huh. So out of those, which ones are you most looking forward to? Um, yeah, like I said, like, probably Operation Metro, um, the most, just because I've had, like, obviously, yeah, there's, like, the, the meat vest, the grime vest, but I love it when you are, like, trapped down, or when you're, like, getting, like, pushed back, like, a tiny bit each time, and those epic battles, and, um, yeah, when you're, like, the one that manages to, like, push through and get the MCOM, or your squad manages to push through and stuff like that, I, I love that about Metro, so... I actually kind of like Metro. I know a lot of people hate it, um, but I kind of really like Metro. And I know a lot of people are going to say that's going to change, especially when they shove like 64 players on it. Oh, yeah. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how that balances out because obviously, with the different map size, they're going to have to rebalance. Like, it's going to, they're going to have to rebalance it all. It's not going to be exactly the same. So, yeah, that's interesting. Probably yep. Metro the most. Okay. What about yourself, yeah. actually, for that one? You... Well, I am looking forward to Metro, but not. I'm looking, hoping that they uh, change the map layout a bit. Uh huh. Because um, the thing that bogged down Metro to me was there was no flanking routes at all. Yeah, yeah. Like it was yeah. just straight lines. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of hoping, like even coming like from Alpha, like if you're playing Conquest, coming from Alpha to Bravo. Yeah. I'm hoping there's a way to go around the sides and in. To yeah, yeah. Make, Maybe yeah. there's a you can blow a hole in the wall or something, but that's the whole thing is like that whole metro it's underground, right? So yeah. how do you do that without you know really blowing up half the city? But yeah. maybe that'll happen. I don't know. It's hard to say. But. Well, they could always like I suppose reposition it and maybe make like the current metro a part of it, and then like yeah. have the map really extended or something like that, or yeah. above ground or. Yeah, well, that's the thing. Like timeline-wise, this isn't like you know fifty years in the future. It's just yeah. it's now. So yeah. I don't know. It's it's going to be hard to say. I am like out of out of those four. Like I've played. I just got to remember. I've played it on PC. So I I really like Operation Firestorm, Large mm -hmm. Conquest. I really like. That. <coughs> Sorry. Same with uh, Caspian Border. Uh -huh. But I'm, I think the one I'm most looking forward to, like. Is, is Golf of Oman because I really I love Golf of Oman, but yeah. I'm hoping they do a lot of changes with those tall buildings, uh, like yeah, being yeah. able to knock them down or something because that's snipers. where all the snipers yeah. are. So I'm looking forward to Golf of Oman the most. I think. Yeah, I think Golf of Oman would be pretty cool. I'd like to see the le um, the like dynamic map changing event in that, like yeah. maybe a flood or something because there's that little river that goes around the back, and I'd like that. Or, I don't know, maybe an earthquake knocks the... But I thought it'd be really interesting if they did... Um, if they were to extend that and make it, like, bigger and go into, like, that city. You know, like, sort of in the right. distance that isn't properly done out. I thought that'd be pretty good if they did yeah. that. Yeah. yeah, like, they could have, you know, finished the buildings so you can't yeah. hide in all those little <laughs> nooks and crannies and you'll have to just stay on top. I don't know. Like, it's... It, it'll be It'll be neat to see. And plus, if they make it like a conquest large, where you're out over on the sides more, yeah, it'll be a different map too. So yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the thing about you know this Xbox One and PlayStation Four is you know gameplay is is going to be a whole different ballgame because now we'll be able to play these maps, conquest large, which is to me the way it should be played with yeah. more players. It doesn't necessarily have to be thirty-two on thirty-two, but 
more players, the better. Yeah, yeah. I think some people are saying the what the sweet the sweet spot is like twenty four versus twenty four. Is that right? Or is that yeah, is probably it about twenty on twenty, twenty four on twenty four. Yeah, that'd be nice. Hmm. But with the five man squads, maybe like twenty five yeah. on twenty five. That would be perfect. Well, I think. Twenty four and twenty four, and then a commander each. Or yeah, well, you can with the the squads. You have five on five on like five oh, man yeah, squads. Yeah, yeah. So you can have okay. you can have twenty five, so five squads on each team yeah, and yeah, a commander yeah. on yeah, each team. Yeah, that makes a lot more so. sense actually. Yeah. Yep. Is that it? Is there anything else that you want to ask or that you want me to ask well, you? I think out of like we've seen a lot of videos. You know, I'm trying to keep away from them, so I don't want to know too much. <laughs> yeah. But. Um, yeah, like what? What are you looking forward to the most with uh, you know consoles going to the uh, to like PC wise for Battlefield Four? Like it'll almost be exactly the same. So what are you looking forward to going to next gen playing on Battlefield Four? Yeah, well, um, I look forward to actually getting next gen. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Probably, I don't know. At the moment, it looks like it's probably not going to be for maybe a year or something like that. So. Um, yeah, I uh, obviously like to be able to play it at mates and stuff like that. So, um, next gen, what am I looking forward to? It's probably probably the just the the ability to sit down with a controller because I I like controllers. You can lay back, you can sit back with them, and have it on my TV screen. Like I know you can do that with a TV uh, with a with a PC. You can HDMI it up, but with mine I get like input delay and I can't bother to like figure that stuff out so it's nice to just sit back Xbox One or PS4 there um, controller in hand headset on and game and actually like have a lot nicer graphics a lot faster frame rate and um, basically larger maps I'm interested I like I love like I'd want to see obviously I like my air warfare so I want to see like more maps um, with like maybe four or five jets on them six jets something like that where we can have some like proper dogfights, and I think maybe, well, I don't know if they're going to do that this this well this current gen that's coming up, and uh, this next gen that's coming up, but that'd be really interesting. It would be. Yeah. Obviously, like gaming with mates and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, no, I think I think consoles are. Well, you've got this idea that consoles are going to be, especially on YouTube, they're going to be a lot more pre pre prevalent. Um, yeah. Console channels. I don't know if you want to go into that a little bit. Yeah. No, I I just think that. You know, now with the proper gameplay that, you, that console players are going to be able to record, so now we're going to see better videos. Yeah. You know, maybe the PC community will start watching uh, maybe a little bit. Yeah. You know, because you'll be, even though on the screen it'll say X, Y, B, or A, or triangle, square, yeah, yeah whatever yeah. those are, um, but the gameplay will be roughly the same, you know. Yeah, and yeah. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping for a, like a revolution almost of, <laughs> console videos being as good or better than uh, some of the PC play. So yeah, definitely, especially with um, the spectator mode now as well. Like, yeah. if we get that on the Xbox One, or well, I don't know if we're gonna get it on 360, but um, especially on the Xbox One, that's gonna be like awesome. Especially like how I can just record that in the spectator mode. Like, it's knowing how it's not battle cam, like that would be amazing. And there is a difference. Yeah the battle cam and a spectator mode but still having spectator mode the ability to like just sit there on my console like have a huge tv to like use the tv as like a camp like a film camera and like right. film like a battle and then make that into like a, a story or something like that that's gonna be awesome so yeah, yeah. yeah i'm really looking forward to that actually yeah well like I, like I said myself i'm really looking forward to this event I can't wait to watch it, and I wish you guys all the best of luck. And the European bring, team, yeah, 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 yeah whatever. And Just bring me European back, team. bring me back a souvenir. <laughs> <laughs> bring you back, but I'd have to like. Have to oh, you'll do it. You'll mail oh me it. God. Okay, I'll mail you it. I'll mail you something. What do you want? Ah, uh, whatever. Okay, I'll get you a, a postcard. All right, and an Xbox One controller. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and a game, and a. Yeah. a and Just take signed... it with you when you're leaving. No, it's mine now. See you. A signed Xbox One. Yeah, <laughs> from Addison. Yeah, <laughs> I'll sell it on eBay and get five bucks. <laughs> oh, thanks. I thought you did anything that for. So that's that's quite good. Okay. All right, man. Well, thank... yeah, thank you very much um, for your time, guys. Really appreciate you watching. 
and um, yeah I'll see you in my next video oh yeah like I said let me know in the comments below what sort of videos you want me to do like when I'm down in London uh, and at the event and if I'm allowed to obviously film gameplay that's gonna go up so uh, yeah and tune in and uh, check us out live um, hopefully you'll see my face on the dash at some point in the video in the stream so yeah thank you very much for your time and uh, see you in my next video take care everyone bye testing test guy guys Test gaggers. Okay, that's good. <laughs> hey, Bailey. I'm about to record. Don't be stupid. Shut up, Bailey! Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, like that. Don't do that. Don't do no twerking. You don't know what twerking is? Who, me? Oh. Yeah. I do. I was saying don't do no. I was going to do it. Oh no. Your video. Right then. Should we go? Yep, sure. So, hey Battlefielders, thank you very much for watching this video. Um, if you're wondering why I sound a bit funny, I'm a little bit ill with a, a cold at the moment, so yeah, apologies for that. But today I'm joined by Geigers. Hello, Geigers. Hey. hey guys, how's it going? How are you doing, Geigers yourself? You doing alright? I'm doing better than you because you're still sick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good to hear that you're all right. And um, yeah, basically you're here to ask questions from the viewers' point of view, like the audience's point of view, questions that I thought you guys would probably want to hear. And today, well, what are we going to be discussing? Mr. Geigers? Oh. Are, you, are you awake? <laughs> are you there? <laughs> yeah. God. This is good. I thought you were going on in a big sentence there. No, I was like, today we're going to be discussing nothing. I don't know. <laughs> we're we're going to discuss, discuss movies. No, what are uh, we discussing? The, oh, you still want me to answer? I thought we are going to start over. <laughs> okay, we'll start over. Okay, we'll start over. Oh my god. That could be like an outtake. Outtake. Do a smoothie. Uh, what are we discussing? The Battlefield 4 showdown. Yeah, we, go. we get the script, guy guys. We're gonna discuss the BF4 London. It doesn't say English. my part. It's like <laughs> all of our parts. It's like shared. Imagine it's like shared, basically. Okay. Well, where does it say today we're going to be talking about? We're going to discuss. It's like the f first, second, third, fourth, fifth line, if you include the title. It's like the bottom, bottom of the third paragraph. Uh, the first oh, 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 we're going to discuss the Battlefield 4 London 32 versus 32 event at my participation. And my participation. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Vocal <laughs> ones. <laughs>